Hey Suns fans, we need to talk about the addition of Landry Shamit. I'll be honest here, trading for Shamit and the inclusion of the 29th pick really had me scratching my head. Why would James Jones do this trade? Shamit's going to be on his fourth team in four years. Surely he doesn't need to have a first round pick included to obtain the rights to his contract. So it got me thinking, really, what was the reason? Shout out the four point play on Twitter, David. His newsletter is amazing and the latest article is linked down below. The Suns seem to be trying to maintain as much financial flexibility as possible. The salary of only Shamit is lower than the combined salary of both Javon and a first round pick. And with the Suns trying to maintain every option available for a championship window, the trade begins to make a lot more sense for financial reasons. Subscribe to David's article if you'd like to learn about all the available options and avenues to improve. Now that we have the why answered, we can focus on the player and what he offers the team based on his current skill set. What's the worst type of play style to guard? The answer seems so obvious when I thought about it, but let's have Mikhail Bridges tell you. I hate chasing y'all motherfuckers around screen. That's not my, no, I like, I, I like when a dude is straight up and they, they maybe try to ISO me with the damn screens and kicking and running. No, bro, I hate that. And he's right. It's the energy guys, the guys who seem to never take a playoff on either side of the ball. They're running off screens, pitching it away, and darting for a cut all within a second. You're trailing your man, you turn your head, and poof, he's gone. Seemingly in perfect scoring position based on your bad defense and your lack of reaction time. It's a game of cat and mouse that you just can't win. Landry Shamit is this exact type of player. He's an offensive movement tornado, who will run full speed into a jumper. A cyborg willing to let it fly on the move and a knockdown sniper from a standstill. And he does all of this with elite three point range. Replacing the Bulldogs energy on defense won't be easy, but Shamit brings an entirely different dynamic to the offensive side of the ball. I've been saying since 2019 that if D-Book isn't going to be high volume from three, we need a true threat from above the break. And Shamit helps solve this issue. He's taken over half of his shots from above the break in each of the last three seasons. The Suns didn't really have movement shooting in 2020, 2021. That should change with Shamit. He's not the pure shooter that Langston Galloway is, but he's close and he's got more ball skills as a passer and ball mover. He might be a perfect fit for the .5 system. He makes quick decisions and he never stands in the same spot. He's in perpetual motion, pinballing off screens and utilizing pursuit angles to trick the defense like his name is Steph Curry. I'm fairly interested to see if the Suns are going to utilize his willingness to be a screener. It's the unsung quality that all the great off-ball scorers have. Screen for the man with the ball, and poof, you get open. Shamit takes advantage of this consistently on film. Landry's main value will come as a floor spacer and as an elite catch and shoot option. He's highly efficient from the corners as well. But Shamit isn't only a shooter. He's got some real athleticism with room to operate, and he's a sneaky bet for a jaw-dropping poster slam. He gets enough respect as a shooting threat that high pick and roll can yield results like this with a full head of steam. He's also got enough flashes of self-creation that this might be considered an underrated part of his game, much like Mikhail Bridges. His self-creation from three is one of the biggest weaknesses on the current roster. If he can tap into this skill set a little bit more, the Suns might damn near be unstoppable. So after diving into the film, watching multiple full games, Shamit has a skill set that will earn him minutes. It's the other parts of his game that'll endear him to Suns fans. The quick decisions, the non-stop movement, the willingness to fly around on both sides of the ball. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Until next time, do rag out.